Oh, she is, is she? No, I don't want to see her, but I suppose I'll have to. Send her in. Hi there. Okay, Margo, now what? First, I want to thank you for letting me come in. Margo, what is it that you want? Only what I'm due. I am not sure I understand. <laughs> I now find myself on the job market. Yes. Hmm. And my prospective employer will ask me about my previous employment. Yes. So what will I tell him? I will tell him what you want to, Margo. I need a reference. <laughs> reference? To get a job with. I, you're telling me that I should give you a reference? Margo, I'd be perjuring myself. I'm sure that you could search that tiny little heart of yours, Tom, and come up with one or two nice things you could say about me. But what about my immortal soul, Margo? I mean, if I were to say something nice about you in a reference, in all honesty, I'd have to balance it out with some other things, if you know what I'm saying. Tom Hughes, I worked for you for weeks, and you were very pleased with my work. And then I make one tiny little one mistake. One tiny little mistake? One tiny little mistake? My, you ignore my instructions, you bring this office into disrepute, you probably bring a lawsuit down in our heads, and you make a damn fool of yourself, and now you're telling me that you want me to tell your next employer, whoever the poor fool might be, that you are cooperative, obedient, kind, courteous, and responsive to suggestions? Is that what you're saying? Why not? I am. Oh, oh please. Mm. Uh, uh, yes, I have a reference for you. As a hooker, that's what I Tom! Am. You really are a sweetheart. You know that you are really a very sweet man. Tom Hughes, you are the most pig-headed, <laughs> arrogant, pompous stuff short I've ever seen in my life. Move out of my way. I don't know how you live with yourself. Get on top of that, you're short. Again. Well, there wasn't anybody to let me in. Lucky me. Oh, no, come on, Tom. I don't like this any better than you do. To what do I owe the pleasure of this second charming visit? I've given up on the reference. Bravo. Now I'm busy, Margo. Well, I was so upset the first time that I was in here, I forgot one little thing. Yes. You don't have to say it like that. I will say what I want, and I will say it any damn way I please. Whoa. Okay. I want severance pay. You want severance? Severance pay. Come on. I'm entitled to it. I, it's only natural and fair, and I demand my rights. You're not going to get any severance pay. I'm not. I'm not? Well, then I'll call a lawyer. I'll call the American Civil Liberties Union. Uh, well, you're not entitled to any severance pay because you quit. I am not going to pay you a dime. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I didn't quit. You fired me, and you know it. No, in case you have forgotten, you came back to the police station and told me that you quit. Is that not true? Look, Tom, in actual fact, you fired me before I quit. So you owe me severance pay. You said the words fired before I said the word. Oh, Jack, you are so... I don't even know how your mind works. I mean, you put me through this. Why on earth, why on earth would I give you anything? Because I need it. Need? Need. Ah, uh, why do you need it? None of your business. Well, you're trying to play on my sympathy. It's long gone, Margo. <sighs> I don't want your damn sympathy. Ah, uh, well, then you better tell me what you want the money for. All right. I need it for the roof of my house. The roof on your house? The roof on my house. What's wrong with the roof on your house? I have to fix it. It has 100,000 woodpecker holes in it. Margo, I've seen the roof on your house. The roof on your house is better than the roof on my entire apartment building. So you're saying that you don't believe me? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, Tom. I need the money to go to Paris. <laughs> I don't I believe you. To Paris? Uh, On a holiday? Uh-huh, sort of. Let, let, me let me tell you something about uh, severance pay. It's, uh, 
but which it's certainly you're not entitled to but i will explain it severance pay you see is for workers who are looking for a job in order to support them i wasn't going to give it to you anyway but even even if i were to inherit saudi arabia i would not give you one dime to go to paris end of discussion oh please please bring me to court if you want <laughs>